Among the pilgrims to the mountain house was the artist Thomas Cole, whose views of the Catskills and the Falls were the first paintings to depict the American landscape as holy ground. In the beginning, all the world was America, John Locke had written in the 17th century, and Cole's images reflect this idea of America as the very prototype of nature with the solitary traveller as Adam. Cole inspired a whole generation of American landscape artists who became known as the Hudson River School. His work included scenes of Italian landscape based on Turner and Claude Lorraine, classical ruins, picturesque peasants, and the artist sketching them while a goat sneaks up to eat his jacket, a deflating touch almost worthy of Mark Twain. But he believed European scenery was worn out, and his deeper attraction was to the Catskills, where, he said, the associations are of God the Creator. They are his undefiled works, and the mind is cast into the contemplation of eternal things. This could require some artistic license. This is Cole's Falls of the Catskill. The leaves are turning red. It is autumn, peak viewing season but he leaves out the tourists peering over the brink and puts in an Indian brave, posed exultantly, the last of the Mohicans, the spirit of the woods. But the Indians had long since been driven away and Cole was troubled by the raw, go-getting spirit of most Americans who saw landscape only as territory, raw material, not as a spiritual resource. For Cole, that seemed close to blasphemy. 